All right. So I think we've got it. Okay. Um, so we can get this showboat on the road, I suppose. Yeah, we don't really have a theme song or anything. We, we this is And Ron, you haven't been with us um, since we started, but we're just really, this is a beta test, and we're throwing out ideas. We're asking for help in the chat room. I don't know if you're in chat at all, irc.twit.tv. Um, well there. Yeah, so we're, you know, kind of working with them. In the middle of that, you know, when we're, we're pitching around, what do you think for this name for a segment? You know, then we'll go to news or something. And we're just kind of all over the place right now. Mm -hmm. We haven't really, you know, um, decided to attack a 30-minute show quite yet. Yeah. Maybe next week we'll have enough yeah. to enough of an idea of the flow of the I show. I think we're getting closer. Segments and everything. Yeah, so we can maybe make an attempt at it right now and see uh, how it goes without any of the bells and whistles of a... Of a uh, actual theme song, segment names, <laughs> segment headers, yeah, or anything exactly. like that. We have like one the, the lo-fi approach, you know, like yeah. it's the DIY, you know, like hey, we're just gonna get, we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And we do have one segment header for our app segment at the end of the show, which That's is kind of right. fun. I don't know if you've pretty seen awesome. this yet, Ron, but it's I did. Awesome. I took a look at it. It was pretty badass. <laughs> So we're looking for more things like that to name our news, our hardware segment. I have an idea for a segment for the show, Jason, but I'll, I'll, uh, we could talk about yes. that. Yes, hold on to that. Um, and then we don't really even have a name. I mean, we're saying it's all about Android, but we're not, mm -hmm. you know, Leo likes I like, that. I, so. I, like, I like the alliteration there. Triple yeah, a? see? No, it's like the triple A, you know, like a that sort cubed? of thing. cubed? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. We'll, we'll have to be careful not to... Uh, you know, get this Android show confused with the actual AAA. Because right. I well, had yeah. my ideas to send out membership cards for people. <laughs> Here's your Android membership card. Thanks for thanks for watching. And uh, that right there might trouble. be pushing it <laughs> over the line. You know, AAA has a great Android app, by the way, while we're on, on the topic. Oh, we should talk. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I, I guess I never thought about the fact that AAA probably has an Android app. They do. So. They do. You can call a tow truck. It's actually, yeah, it's actually, I was surprised. I was like, wow, this is a pretty good app. So. Nice. <laughs> have you, uh, have you been unfortunate enough to be in a situation where you had to use it? Luckily, no, not so much. Uh, not having a car really eliminates my need oh, for the okay. AAA membership, but yeah, so. <laughs> Unless you're on the side of the road and you just need a free ride. Right. Well, I just, like, I walk oh. around San Francisco looking for people who need lifts and like right. <laughs> people with flat tires. I'm like, oh, let me use my app. And so, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. So should we just uh, dive right into the Let's news? dive here? right into the news. I mean, this was arguably about as as buzzing of an Android news week as, yeah, as there ever exactly. is. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, first we should let everybody know this is Ron Richards. That's right. He's joining us today. Those of you who don't know him, um, uh, tell them, tell everybody where you came from, who you are, and what device do you have? <laughs> where I came from, who I am. Uh, yeah, so uh, like you said, I'm Ron Richards. I'm on Twitter at RonXO. Um, Eileen and I used to work together at Revision 3, right, where we uh, created yep. App Judgment, which is an awesome show, which I still contribute to. Yes, um, fantastic. And uh, recently, I just I left Revision 3 in December, and now I work full-time for Graphically, which is a digital comic startup, and they yes. acquired a site I founded called iFanboy, which is a comic book website. Awesome. So doing And Graphically has got apps, and we're working on our Android app. It's going to be out uh, very soon, actually. So. Ooh, can't um, wait. Yeah, and I'm in San Francisco. That's why I'm coming in via Skype. And yeah, that's about. I don't know what else do you need to know. Well, uh, I think the imp the most oh, important devices. is what do you have? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got the uh, Nexus S, the uh -huh. very cool Nexus S right there. And are you uh, enjoying it? Do you like it? I actually really do enjoy it. I think it's really good. I had the Nexus One before, so this uh -huh. wasn't. It was a huge upgrade. Um, it was really the OS the upgrade that I wanted. Mm -hmm. Um. But the device is pretty good. I was a little worried that it was a little too plasticky because the Nexus S had a little more heft to it, a little more metal. But um, it's been treating me great. I love it. So. Do you find that you want a case for it, or you, it looks like you're sporting it alone, like me, just yeah, like this? Yeah, I'm 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 anti cases on phones in general. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I am. Just like I'm like kind of there with you. I'm anti belt clips and like things like that. I don't I mean, want a my, belt clip, but yeah. <laughs> I guess, you know, I just, I hold it and I think, oh, what if I drop it, you know? So. Right, well, the don't drop it. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, round one, you, you know, that's solved, yeah. problem solved. Yeah, exactly. I actually think I mean, back in, in time and I'm like, you know, I probably shouldn't say this out loud. 
because now it's going to happen. But I don't know if I've ever actually dropped my phone dun, dun, far, dun. Enough, far enough to be like, whoa, I dropped it. Did I just break it? Like maybe, well, you know. Well, what's so funny and not not to be a little, you know, kind of needling at the iPhone people. But you notice that because that phone is so expensive and because it's such a, you know, a artifact, you know, like and it's, you know, like it's all nice and glass. Have you noticed iPhone users drop their phones way more than Android users? Well, you just notice a lot more broken screens you on really iPhones do. than you do or than I do any other phone. No, you and do. I don't know if that's just because of the sheer number of iPhones out there, but I've seen a ton of broken screens. Well, I think I think the iPhone drop is the self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like, oh my God, I paid so much money for this. I can't drop it. I can't drop it. Oh, I dropped it. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whereas I never think about dropping or not dropping my phone. And guess what? I never drop it. So, totally. Yeah, so. Totally. All right. Yeah. Although my one fear is the uh, phone in the breast pocket on a dress shirt. And oh, and then you bend over to pick something up and or, or the, in the toilet. That's my wor that's the one Ooh. I worry about. Yeah. So well, I guess the solution there is don't put it in your breast pocket. Don't put it in your breast pocket. <laughs> 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 TMI, maybe. In the Sorry. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. So there's a whole bunch of news. Let's start with Honeycomb, right? Absolutely. We have a ton of videos. Uh, I guess. Uh, what did uh, everybody think about Honeycomb? I think it's. I mean. What is there not to like about Honeycomb? I think ultimately what it comes down to for me is hands-on and it looks mm -hmm. great. The demos looked fantastic and it looked very responsive, which was kind of my fear and has been my my kind of experience with Android is it does a lot of really cool things, but then you get it in your hand and sometimes, you know, it does the little jerky mm -hmm. movements and stuff like that, even if you're on a pretty decent phone, depending on the app that you're using. So my fear is that you end up getting your hands on Honeycomb and it's not nearly as fluid as it, as it looked on stage. But I mean, they were running a, a live, unit so you know what you saw is hopefully what you get exactly ron what did well, you think I, I thought i agree i thought it looked great and and what i find interesting is that they're iterating the, this os so quickly because they're making it tighter and tighter every time but the mm -hmm. problem with that is that you need to have like jason like you're saying like if you have an older phone you're going to get that jerky motion but they're designing for like the top of the line best devices yep. which puts some of us at a disadvantage because i don't know how often you upgrade your phone but i'm like maybe once every year and a half or so Oh, absolutely. Um, so it all depends on where you are in the cycle. Um, but I mean, it had some stuff in there that that was sexy. I mean, the the tablet stuff. I it's mean, it's kind just, of the it, first time you've we've really used the word sexy, you yeah. know, with mm -hmm. an Android OS. I mean, yeah. the cover flow was hot. The YouTube channel was really hot. The uh, you know, Tom doesn't really like this, but I like the page turn. I do, I do <laughs> that that faux page turn on eBooks. I do. I like well, but, it, but that's the kind of thing. That's the kind of thing. Like uh, on on my phone, I turn off animations. Like I just turn mm -hmm. turn yeah, off all so that extra I. crap. Although I kept on the Nexus S the little TV zone out. Oh, I like, love I, that. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> but um, so like the page turn is cute, but it's the kind of thing like that it don't get in you the way of the functionality. Yeah, yeah exactly. you don't need it. But because they're putting it there, I can say I kind of like it. You know. Right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's, I believe it's on display in this video. There we um, go. Yeah, there was a T-Mobile uh, posting of a bunch of the different uh, features of Gingerbread. When, for prep for the show, I was like, okay, sure, we have the, uh, you know, the full presentation from last week, but I want some sort of like concise clips of the specific features that you look for. And uh, so T-Mobile apparently put out a, a bunch of videos that kind of demonstrate some of the features here. And this is the books that we're looking at. Love it. That's it's cool. That it's looks cool. really great. Look oh, here we go. Turn. See, I know people. There's a lot of people who think it's not necessary. That's fine. I like it. I, don't you think it would be kind of strange though if you did the finger swipe and that didn't happen? Like, and it just turned to the next page. I guess you get used to well, it. Well, yeah, that's what the but, Kindle is. It just turns, just changes. Yeah. But are, but, but are you doing a finger swipe? Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I do the swipe, and it doesn't do anything on my Kindle, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah. Um. But you know, it's just a little effect. Sure. Totally. And Ron, like you said, I feel the same exact way. If if it's going to stutter when I do it and it's going yeah. to kind of be clunky and everything, then I don't want it to do it. Yeah. If it's right. going to do it fluidly and, and everything, then actually I, I think that's a pretty cool feature. But, sure. and, that's the, and that's the thing, and that if, especially if the tablet, if then we're going to talk about the Zoom later on, you know, but, but if the Zoom or the other tablets are really going to compete with the iPad, they need to have that in there because, you know, I'm a, you know I'm a techie power user. I'm just get, cut away all the clutter. Just give me the apps. But the normal person who's walking in the best by they want to see stuff like that so mm -hmm. i understand why mm -hmm. and uh for uh Got those of you maps. who know uh leo laporte i did notice that there was a demo of we rule on honeycomb which oh, right. um <laughs> those of you who don't know we rule yet is very addictive and um i know face it some of you want to play it who, who who haven't tried it yet face it you you do <laughs> i'm i'm curious to try it do you ha do you have to have a tablet 
in order to I think do it has it? to run on honeycomb, yeah. yeah. So that's honeycomb is only going to run on the tablets, right? At first. At Isn't first. That what, is, that's yeah, what we're hearing, right? That's, yeah, that's it's more focused first. on the tablets, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and then we got the maps, which I think on a tablet is going to just sing to be oh, able to oh, do that, that. That 3D view just blows, like, uh, in the commercial. Oh, my God. Like, that's so cool. It's like you're in the map. Yeah, well, exactly. Isn't that fun? When you, we have it on our Nexus S. So, um, Oh, that's right. You it. do. Yeah, right. And it's only selected cities, but mm-hmm. it's still cool yeah. to actually really, I don't know. I love it. That stuff just blows me away. Yeah. Now, Eileen, do you have an iPad? I do. I remember. Um, do you use it for any sort of mapping, anything like that? Uh, not really because I have the Wi-Fi only iPad. Right. So you're not so, out and about with it. And no, I, you Probably going to end up using your phone for that type of thing. Yeah. Anyways, I use it for so games. Portable. I use it for reading, yeah. um, uh, some email, some work if I'm in, you know, mm-hmm. a place with Wi-Fi. But that's, that's pretty much it. What about you, Ron? Do you have an iPad? I actually don't currently, but I'm about to, I think I'm actually going to pull the trigger very soon. Um, Ooh, on well, this point, wait. yeah, at this point you, you got to hold. Wait. I know, but I'm tired of waiting. I need Holding it for pattern. Work. Holding I pattern. Think, <laughs> oh, you I need one for I work. I okay. could, if I get one now and then I could sell it if the other one comes out. I don't I don't even know this the show's not about iPads, but I don't even know what the new iPad's gonna have. So I don't know. Yeah. That is uh, true. That is true. Well, so then if okay, it sounds like you probably need it more for like development and stuff like that. Would you yeah. would you opt for an Android tablet over an iPad? Absolutely. No. In fact, I mean like I I want it. I like that Zoom is hot. I mean, I think it's really cool. I would love to get it. That eight hundred dollar price tag. A little concerning, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, but the thing is, like you were saying, you know, like I have the Nexus S has Wi-Fi hotspot capability, so mm-hmm. I can get the Wi-Fi iPad or Wi-Fi Android tablet, and then just use the phone as the hotspot, and then that way I can get on out at, when I'm out and about. Right. That's exactly what I did in New York recently. I had my iPad with me, and I didn't want to pay the hotel, <laughs> so I went ahead and fired up the hotspot, and mm-hmm. boom. The hotspot at, at, at the San Diego Comic-Con last summer, um, the hotspot was faster than my hotel connection. Oh. oh. <laughs> it was mind-blowing. So. Yeah. yeah. Save your bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Understand. Well, should we move on to the market? The new yeah. Android market? Which I got to say, I'm really impressed with. I don't know about you guys. Another really like upgrade. It. Finally. I know. Finally. I've been dying for this for like years. Because the, the market before was just absolutely painful. And to be able it was to a joke. Own- it was it was brochureware. It wasn't, you know, like they highlighted what, like eight eight apps? Like it was, there was nothing, knowing mm. all the searching that we did looking for apps, I would use Andro, Androlib or all those other ones. Like I, why yeah, Google didn't brain. do this from the, from the get-go, I didn't make it, it made no sense. So. They have a web interface that's very easy to use if you're signed in with your Gmail address. It'll automatically allow you to basically install directly from the web, click install, and it sends that once you agree to, you know, all the the parameters and stuff, it sends that directly to your phone. Now, I found it interesting that it does this without any sort of confirmation whatsoever on your phone. So you can go onto the website, click install, and you go to your phone and, and I mean, Granted, it's very convenient that it does this. You go, you look at your phone, and it's already downloading. You didn't have to do anything to initiate that. But it also just kind of feels a little unsafe to me. What do you guys think? Well, it's using it's using the great Chrome to phone functionality. Like yeah. I love Chrome to phone. You know, where you can send oh, you know, data and stuff like that mm-hmm. to your phone. I think it's. I mean, yes, it's a data. I mean, not a data. I mean, it's a security issue because it's installing stuff on your phone. But it's mm-hmm. stuff I initiated. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and, I, and and the thing is, is that like it doesn't notify you when it syncs your contacts. It doesn't notify you, you know, like it's I'm okay with it doing that stuff in the background because it makes it so easy and smooth. I just hope nobody mm-hmm. exploits it. Uh, yeah, well, the hoping nobody exploits it is the thing, you know, that I'm wondering about. I mean, I mean, granted, right now, in order for anybody to really exploit this, you would need I would need your Gmail address and mm-hmm. your password in order mm-hmm. to install apps and you know i don't know where you go from there you'd still also you know if somebody really wanted to exploit you your phone um they would also have to have some sort of an app in the app store that could be served to you that that would you know uh be a security vulnerability you've got to think they're thinking about it you got to think that they they thought they've thought that through you know if you leave yourself logged in on on a computer i imagine it'd be easy but then again the person that happens to luck into that computer that you're logged in on would then also have to have an app that they've created that's in the store that they can push to your phone. You know what I mean? So right now it's maybe not as much of a big deal, but it just kind of put me off guard at first. Jason's paranoid. I've, yeah, learned, I've just that, learned that Jason's bit. paranoid. Oh, I've known Jason's paranoid. I've known that for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, whoa, this is great. I hadn't even thought about security issues. I'm like, yeah. this is awesome. No, it's, it's super convenient. I don't though. have to sync my phone into iTunes to do no, this thing and then, you know, wait Absol- for the, 
you know, constant like up bar to up, you know, it's just done. I mm -hmm. love it. Um, now, one thing that I think is interesting here, I really would love to see what you guys think is how do you think this affects the the app store competitors like AppBrain? Before this announcement, AppBrain was kind of my go to place. And now, you know, granted, I'm using the the market a little bit more to, to kind of get familiar with it and, and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, you know, it kind of does the things that I used AppBrain for. It's starting to. And then as soon as I mean. I haven't really seen, is there, there's suggestions. Uh, I guess if you can see my apps. Yeah, that's, I've I guess, a little different, isn't it? Then, then it would really directly compete. But mm -hmm. I, it's not doing that quite yet. It's not doing so, a lot of the sharing and so But I stuff. would assume that that's going to happen eventually. And when I that mean, happens. Until there's an app that you can't get in another, you can't get in the Google store. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like until that happens, until there's that killer app that only AppBrain has, or the Am the Amazon store that's supposed to launch something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I it's you know I never. I always go to the Google's App Store on the phone. Right. You know. I Did you use ever that. use any of these other ones? Like AppBrain isn't necessarily its own f uh, store. It's right. its own like front end slash searching sharing kind of front yeah. end for the store. It's not its own store specifically. But had you ever used anything like that? No, I mean, well, I used, like I said, I mentioned I used Androlib a lot to do my yeah. research for apps and to find information and stuff like that. Gotcha. Um, that. That's the main one I've used. And I'll probably still use it concurrently with the Android App Store until I feel confident that the Android App Store is giving me what I need. Mm -hmm. But I think that's going to be really quick. Yeah. So, yeah. I did verify that I've only bought five apps. <laughs> Everything else has been free. Nice. I yeah. don't know. I mean, I, I haven't gone on a buying frenzy yet, and I will. But, uh, you know, I kind of like seeing well, you, this all out on the web. You, you you put your money on apps that you know for a fact are worth the money to you. Yeah. I, I've probably bought, I think, seven or eight apps. But there's seven or eight apps that, not all of them, but more for, for the most part, I use very regularly. Yeah. You know, those are the ones I choose to put my money on to. Ron, how many have you bought? Too many to count. <laughs> Nice. Well, I mean, well you had to do it for reviews for yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been doing reviews for a year and a half now. And so, like, you, you know, I'll buy an app on a lark you know just to see you know like if it's less than five bucks i'll just buy it and see if it is and see how it goes and mm -hmm. you know so but i do like with the android with the app is how i can delete it but it still remembers that i bought it so i can download it another time i think mm -hmm. that's really useful mm -hmm. so i see some people saying they'll never buy an app is that true in the chat room i saw one our app's just not worth worth i don't it know how you, you can there's say a that. free alternative yeah i mean yeah well i've bought apps never never it yeah. took me a while to buy my first app. I will admit that. I was okay. just free apps for quite a while. And then I was like, you know what? I use this one all the time. $3 is not that much money. Exactly. Right. And uh, once I had it synced up, you know, in the Google checkout and everything, then I realized it, it was actually pretty easy. Exactly. Uh, to do. So yeah. I ended up doing it more. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of take myself out of the equation because I review apps and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm going to buy them. Um, but if I wasn't, I don't know. I guess I'd be really... Um, I wouldn't as much, but mm -hmm. now that the Android store is front and center a lot more, I think that's going to change. I think more people are going to start buying more apps. I mean, you just price yourself out of good applications to use. I mean, that, yeah. that's the thing. I mean, I find the paid apps tend to, you know, of course, minus advertising, stuff like that, but they sometimes have a bit more to them, a bit more design, a bit more features, things like that. And you're just missing out. I mean, do iPhone users not, you know, only do free apps? Yeah, uh, no. No. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah. I think it's going to change. That's what I mean. Like, I think it's going to change. Now, yeah. you know, we're seeing, um, you know, just as we were talking earlier, Honeycomb, it's looking more sexy. The apps are, there's going to be more types of apps in the uh, Android market. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's going to um, prompt more people to purchase mm -hmm. apps and do it now in app purchases. We haven't talked about that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. And it, this is definitely uh, something that people are really looking for are more ways to buy apps. I actually saw Gallifrey Rebel in the chat room just say, I don't necessarily trust Google with my credit card number yet. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not buying apps. And okay. I, I can understand that completely. But um, they are, of course, the video isn't loading for me now, but oh. they are uh, going to be pushing out in-app purchases through Google. I mean, that's still through Google, but that we've also heard r rumblings of, of uh, you know, billing to your carrier, yeah. which would also be a, a great thing, I think. Yeah, the, no, the in-app purchases is great. I mean, I, I watched the demo earlier, and it just looks like it's really smooth and integrated really nicely. And that's mm -hmm. the kind of that's the kind of one thing that's been missing for you know apps of this nature, like with media or with you know, imagine buying. You know, I, I know at graphically where I work at. You know, we sell comic books, and this is exactly the kind of thing that we want to be doing. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 
Yeah, make it an easy user interface so that more people will buy, you know, the uh, graphic novels from your from your app. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Thank you. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay, so uh, in other news, let's see, Android 2.4 to arrive in April with dual-core app support. Yeah, and this is just basically the fact that uh, that Honeycomb, I, b I believe, you know, to a large degree is built around the dual-core processors uh, going forward. And 2.4 uh, Android for the phones is basically going to allow for those apps that are created for Honeycomb uh, dual-core machines to also be running on, like, the single-core lower-powered phones. Just kind of a quick mention. And uh, they say sometime in April, potentially. But okay. who knows? So the, but the first one that's going to have it is ViewSonic's ViewPad. It's right. still, still around. Hot. <laughs> I had a ViewSonic 19-inch CRT monitor yes. in college that was, like, massive. And it was this huge. Oh, it was great. I love that monitor. I remember the ViewSonic monitors. I had a couple. For and sure. I guess the desserts, the dessert name will stay gingerbread for this update, and that this is not the ice cream release. This is more just like what an incremental. Yeah. Okay, so so I was wondering, what is Jay going to be? Uh, J I thought Jujube? it might be Jello. Jello, Jello. Jello. I bet you going to be Jello, but, but that's trademark. Heard, yeah. But then I also yeah. heard that they have to be able to erect a statue. <laughs> at the Google campus to represent the operating systems. You can't, erect, I mean, it's just going to be a big old blob of Jello. That could well, be pretty cool, actually. in a bowl. I could see that. Put it in a bowl? Yeah, yeah but, it, but isn't that like, it's trademark. Can yeah. they, I mean, don't they have to get permission for it? I mean. Jelly beans? What about? Oh, jelly beans. Jelly. Bean. Yeah, is it from the yeah. chat room? Seeing a lot of those. Jelly baby, jelly roll. Jelly roll. Android um, jelly roll. <laughs> jelly roll. Uh, yeah, jelly's got, it's got to be. Jelly. It's gonna be I, jelly I something. Yeah, yeah, I can't really think of uh, what else it would be. Uh, jelly babies, Jello mold, Juju bees. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Uh, okay. Well, cool. cool. So Google I/O. Yeah. I uh, hadn't hadn't even been on my radar uh, until this morning when you ran in and you were like, "Hey, Google I/O. It's it's all sold out." And yeah, you know, we're gonna to go. cover it. We're gonna cover it on Twit. <laughs> Uh, do you want to go? <laughs> yeah. And then like, oh, Jason was oh, like, uh, sure. sure, okay. Yeah, I'll go. Well, I guess 59 minutes. Tickets are uh, already sold out for oh. Google I.O., wow. uh, which is in May 10th and 11th in our backyard uh, at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. Oh. So uh, I don't know. I guess there was some grumbling. There was some people who didn't get their tickets. Um, and, wow, that was uh, quick. Yeah, Less really than an quick. hour? Mm -hmm. That conference is notorious for giving away cool stuff. That's they right. Gave, nice. They, yeah, they gave they give phones every yeah. year, pretty much. I think I wouldn't be surprised if everybody gets a phone. I remember yeah, oh, maybe a tablet. Well, the that's the what everybody I, wants is the tablet. Yeah. everybody's yeah. hoping to get the Zoom. <laughs> the, the first the first uh, I O I remember they gave away the G one. That was yeah, like, yeah. Right. that's right. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay, that's right. So we're cool. Gonna so yes, I do want to go. <laughs> is my answer. Uh, I, sign I, me Jason, up. Jason, you can you run camera for me? Uh, Gina Trapani's gonna go. I'm gonna go. We'll, we'll be running do. around. They'll be like, "Hey, here, have this tablet. I've got nowhere to put it. All right, I'll just put it in my back pocket and spend the rest of the day running around with a camera." We That'll are be my excuse definitely to get a free going, tablet. and I guess Jason has definitely decided to go. I have our. Well, I, I will register in. everybody after the show. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds great. So that's coming up. Uh, Google's Android is world's leading smartphone platform. I feel like this is. Do we give this a, is happening every uh, week? Every represent. week a new Hello. study. Represent. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just I kind of gloss numbers now. Where I, I yeah. I'm very skeptical of any numbers that are out because you really have to, you know, you have to really analyze these numbers because what are they saying exactly? Mm. So, um, uh, okay. Do, do we believe this? Is this great? This first well, of all, yeah, it's great. I mean, the, it's great. The, 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 the thing, the, 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 the gotcha that iPhone or iOS fans always throw in our face is that is because there are more, there's more product on the market of Android. There are more phones, there are more variations right. of the Android OS. That's why it has the volume, whereas iOS is just iPhone or BlackBerry is just BlackBerry, you know. Um, and I think that's just, this is just evidence of the deluge of handsets that have come out. Like, you know, all exactly. the, once all the carriers got on board and there was all these different variations in Android, that's how this number got to be. It's still, it's still legit though. It's still legit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I was just saying last week that um, some of my girlfriends that uh, upgraded their phones, I was very shocked that both of them had Evos and not that they're technically challenged, but I just didn't think that would be the phone that they would go for, yeah, uh, and they that's what they got, and they're very excited to learn about Android. I see so many Androids out in the wild now. Absolutely, and, yeah, so you know. no doubt, no doubt. Okay, no uh, hardware, we're moving on to our hardware. All Motorola right. Atrix 4G laptop dock 
five hundred dollars with contract Oof. March sixth. Uh, Ron, I, Jason, and I talked about the Atrix last week. What's your yep. opinion on the uh, device? I, you know, whenever I see these th devices, I get all excited. I go, "Ooh, it looks cool!" And then I remember back to when I had my uh, Trio and I bought one of those um, uh, collapsible keyboards. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I'll be on the road and I can work, and I never used it. Yeah, right. Um, but admittedly, the functionality of that was what I mean. You're talking that this is like that was like eight years ago. Um, but you know, so now could this does this mean this could replace my laptop? Probably not. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's I'm torn with it because it's a neat device as a techie guy, but right. practicality, I'm, I'm I'm hesitant to know whether or not it would be something that I could work into my travel plans. You know. Okay. exactly how I feel like it's, yeah. it's cool that it does this and it's cool that you can get a phone that plugs into a laptop dock and everything but in in our reality like am I going to opt for this laptop dock when you know maybe my needs require something a little bit more powerful I love that the phone can do this mm -hmm. but especially like you're looking at $500 for the dock. That's just too high. That's, when I was yeah, at CES and looking at these things and talking to the guy, I was like, this is really cool. It better be inexpensive. Did what did he say? What did he say? Oh, you didn't I, say that to his face. No, well, I mean, when I was talking to him, I said that, and he was like, oh, yeah, it'll be, you know, competitively priced and blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. You know, th that whole thing that you hear all the time at CES, basically, but... Um, but, who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, that's a great question. I, I see this as a competitive... Uh, you know, item to other docks, and granted, it does more mm -hmm. than you know your 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 regular plug into the dock style dock, and that's all that it does. But five hundred dollars—that's like as that's that's more than a than many phones that are many great phones. Well, like, and, just and for a dock, and that's half I don't the price. Know, of, that's half the price of a MacBook Air or yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's right. Right. Yeah. A net, a netbook. You can get an Asus netbook for less than five hundred dollars. Um, I mean, and the thing is also, it's like, uh, is everything you're doing in the cloud? Like, do all you need right. to do get to email and get to a web browser? That's great. Are you okay with not having, with having limited local storage and that sort of thing? Like what apps are you running? I mean, I know me as a business traveler, you know, I'm dependent on my desktop and my laptop. I've got to lug it around because I have files and I have applications I need yeah. to run. I don't think I could, I, I can't separate from that yet. And I'm on cutting, I think I'm on the cutting edge. So, you know, when I actually, now, now that we're talking about it, when I think about what I use my phone for. And the things that I really want it to do sometimes that it's hard that it's hard to do. The only thing that ends up being really in my use of my phone is writing a long email. Yep. And do I really want to carry around a huge piece of five hundred dollar hardware just for that one or two email? Yeah, you know, those yeah. those one or two emails that I feel like my phone it's just too too difficult to punch well, this out really quick. Am I going to pull it out and fold it up and write that email and then fold it away and not use it again for another couple of days? Like I don't know the, if I would. The irony of that with with email and the phones, I've gotten to tons of like productivity discussions and arguments with people and things like that. And I I very rarely use my phone for email. Um, I use it for like emergencies or triage. Like let me just check see what's going on. If I need to respond to anything, that's great. And nine times out of ten, it can wait till I get back to my laptop to respond. Yeah. And if it's that important, guess what? I've got a phone. I can call the person. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's absolutely. Like, people yeah. sometimes forget that. You know. <laughs> that's exactly what Web three five one says in the chat room. Make a free yeah. call. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dial. Oh, that's right. We can do that with these phones. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna They're play devil's. I'm gonna play devil's advocate as someone who's uh, gonna have to travel a lot this year. I don't have the air. What if I was in the market for a phone and this could be um, my laptop? I've used it. I did mm -hmm. play around with it for a little bit. It's pretty hot, honestly. Um, and just thinking about if I was, you know, it's, it's sort of like, do I bring this or do I bring a different laptop? Um, this could replace it for me. And yeah. then I'd had this. This laptop is light. It's really light. Yeah. Um, because it's, it, all this is the keyboard and the display. Exactly. I mean, that's mm -hmm. yeah. That's, exactly. Everything else is in the phone. Yeah. yeah. So I would just have to be smart about it, like you said, Ron. You know, is everything in the cloud? Well, I have to make it that way. Yeah. Which, you know, is troublesome and bothersome in a way. But as someone who's traveling a lot, I'm thinking like, God, you know, am I going to get an Air? I don't know if I can afford it. But if I was in the market for a phone and a laptop, maybe. Yeah. I'm just giving it more of a more of a chance. I don't know. Maybe it won't pick up steam but, anyways. But again, it goes it goes back to the Wi-Fi hotspot functionality. And you know, I've got my 15 inch laptop, and I've got a portable Wi-Fi router wherever I need to go. And yeah, so but I don't want to really... bring my 15 inch laptop anymore. I want this light thing. It's really yeah. light, and you know, I love my right. laptop, but it is heavy. <laughs> I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to destroy my shoulders as quickly <laughs> as possible. So yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> Okay, nice. well, let's uh, move on to the Zoom Super Bowl ad. 
Do yeah. you guys see all this? I missed most of the ads at the top. I will of the say hour. I actually missed this. And then Ron, when you mentioned it this morning when we were kind of filling out the doc, I was like, Oh wait, you know what? I'm not gonna watch it then. Because I've oh. seen the first oh. like I've seen the first Ooh. fifteen seconds. Okay, let's that watch leaked. it. Yeah. Um but yeah, let's let's watch it and then I wanna see Jason's reaction. <laughs> oh, that'll be exciting, <laughs> let me tell you. All right. Page this is as far as I see. her to take the the hood, the hood off yeah right to yeah. complete it you know <laughs> yeah she kind of she took the white earbuds off okay but i wanted like i wanted leaving some apple more. forever uh i wanted to see more of the story <laughs> well, okay what, what i thought was hysterical was that people were like is that supposed to be a dig at apple in their 1984 commercial it's like yeah right yes yeah. <laughs> it's like, like the dude's reading 1984 in the beginning of the end they've all got white earbuds in like it's clearly a dig at apple <laughs> all right eight hundred dollars like we mentioned earlier that's the Expensive. thing. I saw this ad and I was like, sign me up. This is awesome. Yeah. And then I went online. I was like, $800. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could you scratch so my name expensive. off that list when I said sign me up? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Maybe <laughs> six. I would say five would be the I mean, the I mean item, honestly, you know? a tablet, I mean, it's, if it's got 3G, I can understand that if it's, you know, being a little more expensive because it's got right. the data connectivity. Yeah. But I have, a, I have a real hard time justifying more than $500 on a tablet. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, you're, you're looking at the granddaddy right now of the tablet wars, which, you know, have only just begun, but it's undeniably the iPad uh, because it's been unchallenged and it's been unchallenged up to this point, uh, especially in the, the, the price aspect. People kind of have it in their minds, I think, that a tablet costs what the iPad costs because it's the right. granddaddy right now. Mm -hmm. And then all of these competitors are coming out and they're they're overshooting it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's got to be competitively priced at least. I know because that tablet looks hot. Just the, from yeah, the commercial, absolutely. he's taking the picture. He's got the little dial. You know, he's mm -hmm. got the books and everything. It looks great, like an awesome competitor, competitor to the iPad. But you I, got you, you know, got to give people a reason to not go for the iPad. Exactly. And a lower price is going to give people really a much more of a reason. They're going to get a lot of people purchasing that tablet for eight hundred bucks. I don't know. Uh, it's tough. I mean, is, and is I don't even know. Is there just a Wi-Fi version? I don't know yet. Um, because if there was a Wi-Fi version that was four ninety nine, done. Done. Totally. Yeah. 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 I agree. Uh, four ninety nine would be good. I would. Yeah. I would want to check it out too because I want Honeycomb and you know right. I want to try it out. But I mean, yeah, it just looks know. really cool. I mean, it like that, going back to what we we're saying about Honeycomb, it just I mean, it was best to see. Yes. So it was. You know, mm -hmm. it was. You know, it definitely. You know, uh, clearly enough people liked what they're doing with it. It's just. It's just that price point, man. Yeah. That could be the killer. Dun, no. dun, dun, dun. dun. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on to apps. Before we get into our Android Arena section, uh, there's a new app out there. I wanted to know what you guys thought about. Um, there's a video called oh. Skifta. 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 <laughs> Hmm. Android app nabs DNLA certification, tablets and smartphones now streaming to STBs and more. So uh, just uh, let's check out this video if we if we can. Absolutely. And uh, let me know what you think. Let's see here. here let's go. Go. go on a minute. You've got a lot of digital media. What if you could take that digital media with you and enjoy it with others whenever and wherever you want? Well, Skifta lets you do that. Want to show vacation photos from your mobile phone with your family? Then stream them from that phone to a big screen TV with Skifter. Seen a hilarious viral video? Stream it from the cloud with Skifter and watch it on a nearby TV. A weekend party a bit of a bore? Call up the right playlist from home with Skifter and stream it to the sound system to jumpstart the party. It's your media. Take it with you whenever, wherever with Skifter. Using Skifter's easy, just install the app on your phone. Then choose media from your phone, from the cloud, or from your digital media collection at home. 
Select a DLNA compatible device on your Wi-Fi network and enjoy it. No wires, downloading or sideloading. Just pick your favorite music, photos or videos and hit play. Take control of your media with Skifter. Visit skifter.com. Okay. The app is free in the Android Marketplace right now, and you have to have Froyo or higher. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. I was impressed I haven't by tried it. it yet. So, I, you know, just based on, um, you know, that video, I'm going to, it's free. I'm going to download but, it. But how, does it, how does it work on the receiving end? Yeah, that's what I, you have to have a DLNA and, um, enabled device. So, right. uh I don't know. We'd have to try that out. And I don't know if I have a device that's enabled for that. Yeah, I don't know if I do either, actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Either. I mean, I have, I have a Google TV Blu-ray player, and I assume that would be enabled, right? I would assume that would be enabled, too. Yeah. Why don't See, we all the, try it, and then we'll come back? The, yeah, that's the problem. That's what worries me about a lot of these technologies, is that it's yeah. got to be easy for the average person to use. It's got to be a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the moment you start throwing out acronyms that I, even I've never heard of. Right. And, you know, then, then you've got challenges. But the promise of it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I want to be able to start the party from my house. Even yeah. Though everybody wants awesome. to start the party. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> All right, Jason, why don't we head to the arena? Yeah. Should we do that? So, uh, we, you know, you may remember last week we put out a little bit of a challenge. Actually, we put out a challenge that uh, you guys <laughs> email us. And uh, let's see we here. Didn't. I believe I have. This all about Android shows the new email address. It's yes. uh, this is the one to use going forward, at least until mm -hmm. we change it again. All about Android show at gmail.com. And we asked last week uh, for some help naming our segments. And I'll tell you, we didn't get a whole lot of response, but we did get one key response from Bill Meeks, very talented video, um, video creator, video Thanks, designer. Bill. And he created a little open and he went ahead and named our little app versus app segment mm -hmm. within the video open. So I'll just go ahead and play this and let it speak for itself. To enter, one lives the Android Arena. Yeah! Nice. That was exactly what I asked for. I was like, you know, like sumo wrestlers. So <laughs> one in. green, one blue, yep. and they walk in, and it's a challenge. And with fire, I say, I think I said fire and whatever I said <laughs> yeah, last no. week. And Bill <laughs> nailed it. Yeah, he was faithful to the vision. <laughs> he totally and, was. and that came in. I don't know, five hours after we ended our yeah. brainstorm. So. <laughs> Last week. The dude's talented. I love it. Okay, so here's the segment where we're going to focus on um, a uh, particular topic yeah. or um, in, in for apps. And uh, this week we went ahead and decided on Twitter apps. And then what we'll do is we'll talk about it, and then you guys can vote, and we'll have a poll, and you yep. guys can vote uh, which one you like the best. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, we kind of figured we'll just start off with the Twitter apps because, well, I think yeah. all three of us use Twitter pretty regularly mm -hmm. yeah. and, you know, undoubtedly we're using our phones for that. So it's it's just the kind of thing that we're going to own enough, uh, you know, enough of play a favorite to a particular app. And it turned out that all three of us kind of use different Twitter yeah, apps. So that's pretty awesome. So I realize it isn't too two robots entering the yeah. arena. This is more like a cage match with I know. three we, of them going at it. On it's a, it's a battle royale. <laughs> yeah, battle royale. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jason, why don't you at start? The Thunderdome. All right, um, well, I, let's see here. Let me fire it up. <laughs> Go ahead and take this here. I actually use TweetDeck, which um, started releasing their betas, I don't know, probably like five months ago, six months ago. And at the first time that I used it, it was so stripped down that I just didn't really care for it that much. But uh, they've been doing a lot of updates to it and I've been getting just really used to it. One thing I really like about it is that you can essentially, you can create um, columns and it's just like the on the uh, on the standalone desktop, desktop act, ah, God, I can't talk, desktop <laughs> app that you can create a column that's a basically around a Twitter search uh, term. So like I have tech news today in here and I can monitor, you know, uh, any, anything that comes up with TNT, uh, TNT related on Twitter. And that's, you know, another update column as well as my direct messages, me, uh, you know, my whole Twitter feed, you could, you could uh, single it out to just Facebook updates because TweetDeck actually does uh, Facebook as well as Twitter. Um, you can do, they're rolling out more customization options. One thing that uh, I would say was kind of a disadvantage for TweetDeck uh, over, over a decent period of time is that it's hard to get it to automatically update. 
And one one secret that I found, one th way to do it is it has these widgets that you can install. And if you have the widget on your home screen, it will automatically keep track and update the app for you. So you can see, you know, just everybody, direct message, mess uh, my own, no, direct message, uh, reply at, and then these are my two, two search terms that I have plugged in so I can go right to those. But I actually, I like it. It's, it's somewhat of a simple, uh, more simplified Twitter app, but I don't get lost that way. I actually use it so much more than any of the other Twitter apps um, that I've used just because there's a, it's a little bit stripped back and uh, I just really enjoy it. It's super uh, fluid. The UI is very fluid. So I don't know. It's and it's app. free, isn't it? It is free. Yeah, that's absolutely, and it syncs up with your uh, desktop uh, tweet deck ID as well. So if you if you have multiple Twitter accounts, you know, hooked up there, you can do it directly in the phone too. But you can basically sync those accounts uh, between your device and your desktop. And and it's it's so funny because I use tweet deck on my desktop. Like that's my that's how, where I live and breathe in Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I've installed tweet deck on my phone. I just haven't set it up yet. Yeah, like that, like you know, like it, it. Like I downloaded, I was all excited. I was like, "Great, I'll be you know the same on both ones." Mm -hmm. But it just was, seemed to be so overwhelming to get set up because with my multiple accounts and and to to finesse it, I've just been too lazy to play with it. So yeah, now you, that it, yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't have to do the manual setup if you already have a desktop TweetDeck sign in. You can plug that in and it'll automatically yeah. sync. You might have to recreate some of the search terms if you have different columns for different things, but um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to set up that way. Cool. So I like it a lot. I'll defer to Ron right now, and then I'll go last. All right. Well, I'm kind of lame because. Why um, are you lame? Well, because okay, so so you know, Twitter apps are like the, all the rage, right? I mean, like we, yeah. you know, you know, uh, you know, over on App Judgment, that's all that that was like our go-to one as well, and yep. we, you know, and um, I try anyone like I'll see somebody using an app I've never heard of, or I'll get or I'll get wind of something, I'll download it, I'll try it. I've tried Seismic, I've tried uh, Twitter, I've tried mm -hmm. Swift, I've tried you know all stuff like that. I haven't played a Plume yet, although I want to, um, and I always fall back on the official Twitter app. Yeah, you know, that's, that, that's why I'm kind of lame, you know, because it does it does everything I need it to. Like admittedly, mm -hmm. it's only I don't like that it's limited to one account. Um, that was or, the, that was actually what pulled me away from it. I really enjoyed using yeah. it, but having just one account on there wasn't enough for me. Exactly, and you know, I do have multiple accounts. I need to, you know, I've got the iFanboy account, I've got the Graphically account, mm -hmm. I've got some other, you know, some other, you know, Twitter accounts here and there that I want to. But then at the end of the day, it's. You know, it's so good at what it does that for my main my main personal account, it just rocks it. So, like, my long term plan is to probably go with another client for those other like work accounts, mm -hmm. um, and uh, either be it Seismic or TweetDeck or whatever. But for some reason, I like the idea of using the Twitter the app. I mean, it just it's nicely designed. I like the functionality. I get the I get the feeling of it. I I can do stuff really quickly. That's the big thing for me. Is like don't make it be a pain in the ass to retweet something or respond to somebody or upload a photo or something like that. It's mm -hmm. got to be fast. And that, uh, right now, I'm the fastest on Twitter. So. I like, official I like the official Twitter app too. Um, the only issue I have with it, just like I have the issue with it on the website, is the retweet function. I'm one of those. I like to have the option to make comment. a quote comment. Mm -hmm. right. and you can't do that when you hit the retweet. There's no option. I don't know to why do they don't include that. It's such a commonly used thing in retweet. No, they, they, it's, a, it's, in, it's in the new official app. Oh, if is it? Hit, okay. If Wait you, if a you, minute, really? Yeah, if you oh, if you if you load up a tweet change. and hit the retweet button, you get a question. Retweet to the, your followers. Retweet quote or cancel. Here, I'll show it right there. See, and so what you uh -huh. can do is can, you can choose to retweet it using the official Twitter retweet, right. or you can just quote it and then you can you can add your color commentary or whatever you want to add. I mean, oh so my god, that's an important god. change because that was one of that was one of the few things I was like, ah, I don't want to so just retweet it, you, you know, the official way all the time. Sometimes I yeah. want to comment. I'm so and glad you one told thing, me and, that. and maybe this is a question for the um for the chat room. My one criticism of it is that um I find the the automatic updating support yeah uh, comes and goes. Oh. Okay. So like, so like I said, like I like every 15 minutes to, um, you know, to go to poll and give me my tweets and that sort of thing. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And I have no idea why in either direction. Hmm. So Weird. I don't know if anyone else had this problem. Or not, but okay. If you have, let me know what the fix is. Cause I want it, I want it back <laughs> currently right now. It's not auto updating. So you have oh, just that's blown my mind. Hold on. <laughs> I will say one thing I really liked about the official app is it's, is 
uh, Android, Google has really kind of taken it under its wing to be the, well, I mean, it is, it's the official Twitter app, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of like uh, system wide integration with, uh, oh, I, with dude, the yeah, official that's Twitter the, that's app. the coolest thing ever is yeah. that, and it freaked me that I can't curse. I don't want to curse. It freaked me out because, um, um, I, I set the sync button and what it did was it pulled my contacts and pulled and identified people I follow by yes. their name and pulled in their avatar as their photo on my address book. Yep, exactly. So one day I went to my contacts and all of a sudden I had all these photos and I was like, these are their Twitter avatars and it was the coolest thing. And then also you can pull up a contact and it shows their latest tweet. And also like when you, you know, when you tap over, like when somebody text messages you something, you tap over their icon and it comes up with that whole thing. Twitter yeah. is one of those options as well. It's a really nice integration. Yeah, so. I really like that. And that, that kept pulling me in that direction too. But it just was, you know, it, it did not do a couple of key things. Mainly it was the, uh, the multiple accounts. Which, which I, know, I hope they add because totally they, lost. Have, they, have, yeah, <laughs> they have the multiple accounts on the Mac application, on the Mac app. And I, do they have it on the iPhone app? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. What what was the question? I'm uh, lost. Dude, I'm lost dude, know, in trying totally this gone. right here. Oh, there is the quote. Well, See? there you go. See? All right. Um, but yeah, the no multiple. I'm so. What was your question? <laughs> dude, I'm just like all of a sudden. Support? It's like. <laughs> does I can the, go does back the, to using this now. It's does like the, the world is in color now. Does oh the iPhone uh, Android official Android app support multiple accounts? I believe it does. I haven't used it in a long yeah, the, time. Yeah, the chat room is saying that it does as well. Yeah, I, believe it I, does. Think, I have to imagine that's in the that's in the pipeline. Then it's, it's got to be coming. Yeah. So if somebody from uh, from Twitter is listening, do it quickly. Yeah. So. Just seems like one of those no-brainer things. And I actually, along those lines, I should also mention one other reason why I really like the TweetDeck app is that the uh, the multiple different accounts, like you can have the different Twitter accounts, but also your Facebook accounts, and they integrate into the same feed. Um, yeah, I, I hate that. But oh really? I actually really yeah, yeah. like that a lot. Facebook's Facebook to me is like this like internment camp of social that I just keep over there. <laughs> yeah. And because I well, because I have Twitter post to it automatically. So I yeah. very rarely go into Facebook and read uh -huh. the feed or anything like that. So understood. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. I, I had to do the the transfer of my Facebook account, you know, months and months ago from a publicly open to anyone to just friends and families for that very reason. Now it's actually usable problem. to me. So Yeah, that's the problem. And, and mine's open to anybody. I want to be anybody's friend, but I yeah. haven't set up like the filters or the groups yet. Yeah, right. Um, just because I've been so lazy. But uh, yeah, so. But I, if you use it, I could see why you'd like that. Yeah. So, so you, Eileen. I like other other than Twitter app. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're totally going to switch now, aren't you? <laughs> I might. Wow. Does this mean I win well, the battle? I know. I was going to say, um, one of the androids just up and gave up. I know. Okay. It's like, eh, whatever. Well, let me just go into my spiel about which app I've I've been using for the last Yeah, exactly. You've been using it. Doesn't months. mean it's the best one in the world. Well, honestly, I started with TweetDroid and I actually uh, upgraded was, to the pro version because they have the multiple accounts. That's a that's that is a that major sticking point for me, mm -hmm. is the multiple accounts thing. Only issue is I have with TweetDroid is that um there seems to be some bug with it when I'm scrolling um through the app. This is what it looks like right here. Sometimes, well, you can see that there. I'm going to go to my other. It, sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. It will jump to the other account while I'm scrolling, which is, it's just a weird, it just seems like a weird bug, which is just kind of annoying. It's not doing it right now. Of course not. Is it, because does I'm it jump right. to the other account yes. with the left and right arrow? Like, is no. that how you get there? No, or? I'm doing this and it will just jump. But maybe, maybe huh. my finger is too, maybe that's the design where, where I'm too close here and I accidentally hit the left button, so it'll go to the all accounts or whatever. Maybe that's what's happening. As I'm scrolling, yeah, see how my thumb is so close? Yeah. I don't like that, you know? Yeah. I don't want to get rid of that. So, yeah. and it seems to me like other people are saying that it's buggy as well. So, I don't know. Um, it, sounds like it just, it sounds like you're doing it wrong. I guess I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> you're holding it wrong. <laughs> I'm holding it wrong, apparently. <laughs> so, this was my go-to because I... Um, I need the multiple accounts. Yeah. I had Hootsuite on here and I don't like the Hootsuite app. Honestly. Yeah, Hootsuite, I sure because I use Hootsuite on the web as well for work and oh, stuff like that. And the Hootsuite app it's terrible. I, it was really spotty. It yeah. was really, really spotty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, um, just to actually get um and, and the buttons seem to be un unresponsive to me too when I'm on tweet, you know, a uh, tweet droid. I'm like, okay, I want to get out, but sometimes it doesn't do that for me. I found a free app called Twicka and Canuck make them yes. The whole time during this uh, segment when you, do, you guys were talking about your Twitter apps, he's like, I bet Eileen's going to use Twicka. I bet Eileen's going to use Twicka. Well, I did. <laughs> it's free in the uh, Android marketplace. It's just, honestly, um, the, the main issue I have with it is that it doesn't have multiple accounts 
like the Twitter app, but it's fluid. I love the UI. There's how, this is how you reload. There we go. It's not reloading. Maybe I don't have any more. There we go. Reloading. Um, you could do all the things that Twitter does. What I also like here, um, let's see if I can find a photo here. But uh, does it show them in line? Yeah, it shows it shows it in line. Mm -hmm. A photo. If I can find one in here. But um, okay, here's your um, at replies. It has basic. It's just basic functionality, and it seems to work, and it's really fast. I don't know why it's still in beta. Um, what I'd like to see is a jump to the top button, like yeah. um, like uh, Tweet Droid has. Yep. Uh, uh, that doesn't have it, so I have to kind of Tweet Deck has up. that as well. Tweet you Deck you has hit it. the very you know, top line, and it jumps you right up to present. Um, you yeah. can actually tab people. So here, I'm going to tab this person. I could give this person a color label so I know that that person's oh, cool. coming up, which like is kind of cool. Um, you know, like, oh, I don't have a Leo one, but say I wanted to know when, Leo, you know, I, I would see it immediately. I'm trying see, to look that, for See, that's the kind of customization that I think these other, the non-officials and the other apps need to be doing more. It's like, it's, it's, it's one thing to just allow you to get your Twitter stream and yep. reply and do all the basic stuff, but how can you make it different? You know, how mm -hmm. can you make it, and like highlighting, and so like, there's like five people I want to make red background, mm -hmm. and those are the people I really need to know. Or, you know what I would love to see? Um, I would love to see a Brizzly Android app oh, or somebody using the Brizzly functionality of muting. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. see. Because can that's I something mute? that I need in Twitter. Tweet where you can, still you can mute. You can, you can mute, mute and tweet, tweet Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to see other settings. I can't find a photo right now. I want to show you guys an inline photo um, to see how it pops out, but no one's posted a photo recently. So, boo, somebody post a photo that I follow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in, in all honesty, it's just a simple app. It has simple, th it has lists. It has, um, let's see here. Let me go in. Okay. This is, here's my list. I like that. You know, it's got it's mm -hmm. got a lot of little things. It, it, you know, again, for a free app that's still in beta, I think it um, it is very smooth. I love the UI. You can make this all white if you want. I chose the black. Um, and it's simple. So that's what I needed. And I just, the only thing that I want with this, and it also does the retweet function that I like, but <laughs> now I know Twitter does. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, the only thing is missing is the multiple accounts. So I don't know if that's going to come after they're out of beta or not. Mm -hmm. That always seems like the last thing they add. It's like they get yeah. the they get the account, get it down, then add multiple accounts. So, All right. yeah. So I don't know, Jason. Do you want to show the poll? Oh uh, yeah. Do we have that's one? right? We do. Um, so we're still trying to play around with how exactly we're going to integrate this whole voting thing. But uh, if you go to poll.cm/702. Uh, we set up a little poll here and you can kind of take a look. You know, the only problem with this poll is that there's, well, I guess, I guess that's just how it has to be. It's, it's only the three things that we've covered and maybe the thing that you want to vote for, uh, we didn't cover. So there's that aspect well, of it. But they're, they're voting on the three, the, the, the apps that we covered. So. That's right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So poll.cm slash 702. You'll see a little, uh, a little. Uh, tally there with TweetDeck, Twicka, and the official Twitter app. Um, go ahead and place your vote and, and let us know what you think and what do we do. Do we read this at the end or, <laughs> I mean, we're actually close yeah, to the end. Yeah, we're close to the point. end. I think we just read it next week. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just read it next week and, and you guys can let us know which ones you like best. <laughs> hey, can I show this really quick? Absolutely. So here's the, in, so this is just my feed. So I'm going to post, I'm going to touch that. So here's all your options. Quote and reply, quote select. Blah, 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 add favorites, set a color label, share this tweet. I'm just going to open up and look at the photo. Oh, now it won't do it. Come on, Internet. And then I'll show you how Tweet Deck does it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can show it. There we go. And hey. it just pops up in line. That's what the photo looks like. Nice. Uh, well, I just like to show and, and let people know about maybe <laughs> lesser known apps out there. Yeah. Um, you know, because there's plenty of options. And depending upon what your customization needs are, um, you know, what you use it for, you may not necessarily agree with us, but it's, you know, just throwing out a different name out there for people to know about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'll just show you this real quick because I have it already dialed up here. Um, whew, I can, it's hard to hold this in the right place, but there's <laughs> Kevin Rose, a little update from him. Oh, okay. It's an Instagram Okay, there you go. It just comes up right at the bottom. And they, also, if there's any location built into the photo, it'll give you a Google map with the location pinpointed on it. Yeah, the, t the Twitter official app does that as well. The, oh, the, right. The map comes up. That yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Well, I think we've exhausted. I will say one quick thing because this yeah. is my only forum to do this. I want... <laughs> 
<laughs> I want a Twitter app. I want one single Twitter app, and I, I, I swear I will use it if this happens. There's plenty of Twitter apps that do multiple Twitter accounts. There's plenty of Twitter apps that do Facebook accounts. But there aren't any that I can find that allow me to post to my Facebook fan page. And the problem is, like, I've separated, uh, you know, friends and family are my personal profile. And anybody yep. that finds me through the shows, they end up at the fan page, uh, whatever you want to call I know, it. I hate I know that the as Hoots, a name. The Hootsuite, the Hootsuite desktop does let you post the fan yeah. pages. Tweet deck, but not uh, desktop allows you to do that too. But none of them right. on mobile allow me to do that. And mm -hmm. I, often I want to post the same thing to Twitter as I do mm -hmm. on my fan page, but I don't always want to do it. Otherwise, I'd import my tweets and I don't want to do that. I want control over it all. So someone do that. With your app, it's, please. It's, it's interesting because I found that with Twitter apps, everyone has their own unique set of requirements, and there's no one app for everyone. There's no yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. Yep. So you want you want fan page support? I want a mute button. You know, like there's <laughs> all the same thing. So okay, can I show one more thing? <laughs> I'm trying to sell Twicka. Okay, so there's the color coding that I was talking about. Oh, that's so cool. there, it'll um, when you. You know, I color coded Ebert Chicago and the Amazon MP3. Mm -hmm. So every time I see, oh, geez. <laughs> every time I see them, there's Ebert Chicago right there. He's in blue. And then his name is in blue. And then the link or whatever is in blue. And yeah. then uh, Amazon MP3 is yellow. You should, we should have done this yesterday when Amazon MP3 was live tweeting during the Super Bowl, all the music from the commercials. Oh, then oh you would have yeah. seen that. Which yeah, was awesome, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it was, was awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, cool. Okay. All right. Well, that's a that's a whole lot about Twitter apps, <laughs> and that was only three of them. Uh, but anyways, go to the the poll poll cm slash seven hundred two and prove to us that this is something that you guys want us to do. <laughs> we get a lot of votes and everything. We'll be like, okay, cool. Uh, they like that. And if yeah. not, you can email us all about Android Show at gmail dot com and give us a suggestion for how we could use that better. Um, we're we are absolutely open to suggestions. Still beta. We're absolutely. still working out kinks. Uh, somebody mentioned up there a help and how to segment. I'd love to do that. Yeah, maybe absolutely. we'll try that next week. Uh, one of us could do a quick help and how to. Sure. Um, some live reporting on the poll that the Twitter official app is winning with with fifty percent. Okay, of the vote. there you go. Yeah, is nice. that because of my Same. oh my god face? Whoa. Uh, it might be. Might be. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> All right, just a couple of quick emails here, uh, and they're both actually related. Pete Cook wrote in and said, one to watch, a, a blog to watch, actually, uh, for non-U.S. news, if you've not seen it before, Eurodroid, E-U-R-O-D-R-O-I-D.com. And then Emmanuel uh, Negriano? Uh, says, uh, here's a good one for people up north, androidcanada.ca, because if you remember last week, we were asking for some sources. We want to we try and give news that, that hits everybody, and if that means you know some big news happens and it's not directly related to the U.S., mm -hmm. you know it would be good to at least know about that and be able to decide around those. So these are two suggestions, and if you haven't heard about them before, you know maybe uh, they apply to you. Check them out, and Ooh. we will certainly do the same. Cool. I think. Oh yes, Web six two four two. How about a help guide for Android newbies? That was exactly the segment I was going to propose. Um, oh, Android noob for the noobs mm -hmm. out there. When we were talking about last week, there mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of advanced users, but there are a lot of people who are just picking up the phone for the first time. I'd love to do like a quick, uh, you know, basic tutorial on something. Yeah. And that way, you know, make it quick, like a two minute kind of thing. That yeah. way the rest of you are like, okay, well, it's only two minutes. It's not going to be that long. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? But something to help um, new users out there. Android noob. That's exactly what I want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, all the functionality of Android is like hidden. You don't get a manual when you get an Android phone. It, they, they don't tell you any of this stuff. So that kind of, you know, it could even be a very noob tip that someone who's, you know, well-versed in the Android OS might not still have heard of because mm -hmm. there's so much stuff buried in there, like little Easter eggs. So, uh, great. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. Let's do that for next week. Let's try and figure out yeah. like a little bit of, of a tips, uh, okay. segment of some Key sort. Tip, the best, the best, like if you had to give a noob one suggestion, what would it be? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's what I got to figure out. That's what we got to figure out. What would you do, Ron? One. Oh, well, I need to figure it out. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put you on the spot here. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, uh, what do you think? Is that, I think that's is that good for this week? That's good for this week. Um, Ron, do you have any suggestions or anything that you think that you would like to see on a show like this? No, this is great. I mean, going over the news and going over, you know, different uh, app spotlights and the hardware stuff. I think that's, that's cool. It's just, I, I would watch and listen. So. Yay. Sweet. And we would have you on again. Oh, thank you. If, you, oh, if you would you. like to be on again. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> 
Awesome. Well, uh, you might as well end uh, with just reminding people where where uh, where they can find your stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can find me. I'm on Twitter at RonXO. You can find me online at uh, Graphically.com, which is the company I work for, as well as iFanboy.com, which is one of the site that I work on, and um, personal site RonXO.com. I think that's it, right? Fantastic. Yay! Yeah. Hey. Right on. All right, Thank Eileen. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Jason. Thank another, you. Thank you. For another successful brainstorm. This is we'll a polite show. I know. I know. Right? I know. <laughs> you know we'll what? Argue. This is the segment where we shake hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, you guys, for all of your input. We really appreciate it. And uh, same time next week, 12 yeah. noon Pacific mm -hmm. at live.twit.tv. We'll do another one of these and maybe have it a little bit even more formed next yeah. week. So Yeah. Thanks for hanging in there, and, and please send us suggestions. Yeah, absolutely. Bye. Bye. And so that ends scene. our recording. Yes. Rawr. And scene. And scene. But... Um, are you available next week, Ron? Uh, yeah, I think I'm in town. Yeah, I should be. Let me check the calendar. Ooh. Yeah. Ron? We get to buy some time before the next show, which starts like in yeah. 15 minutes. So yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, Jason, you have to still talk here for another what we do. 10 the, minutes. The fun, th the fun thing of live TV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was all right. You guys. Yeah, yeah. Solid. yeah I mean, great. you know, we, we don't have like a solid, you know, in out point or, you know, yeah. I don't know why I'm looking at there. I could be looking right here. Um, <laughs> So we're just feeling it out. But that was the first time we actually kind of went and used the rundown. Yeah, totally. You know, mm -hmm. last week we were just throwing in links and ah, run that rundown is key. That's what I tell new podcasters. Always just yep. have a, a clear line of what you're talking about. So. Well, the first Absolutely. two weeks we were just kind of, you know, what, what should we do? We were talking about yeah. segment headers. First week was, you know, the name and things like that. Yeah. And then we just started populating a, a rundown and now we actually used it. So mm -hmm. I think next week we can get even get even tighter. Cool. Yeah. I think. A little health awesome. segment or whatever. I'm liking it. You know, one thing that I feared going into this, the more I thought about it, was mm -hmm. the fact that we're on, we're like the first show on a Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, news shows, when they happen on a Monday, always tend to feel, from the listener's point of view, as a roundup of last week's news and not true. Not always current, but I don't. I think I think it's what we're doing is we're kind of covering the news, but we're not covering it as if it's as if it's like breaking. Up right. to the minute news, it's more like a summary. Here's a hey, few this things. Is what We've also got these apps and these really helpful things and everything like that. Almost yeah. equal footing with the rest of the segments. I think that's I really agree. important for a minute yeah. show. Because you're going to hear a lot of this news on Tech News Today. You're going to hear yeah. a lot of this on This Week in Google. So, you know, um, we're this more focused. This is the show for the Android fan. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. If we yeah. add those help and how to kind of things, yeah. that will differentiate us, mm -hmm. in, you know, even more, I yep. think. So, yay. Cool. Awesome. Well, awesome. Thank you, Ron. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bounce because I got to eat lunch before my next meeting. Okay. But, that is too but, much yeah, to ask. Awesome. Yeah, no, thank yeah. you so much for doing this, Ron. I really no appreciate problem. it. My pleasure. Awesome. Yeah, and, and holler, just give me a shout out over email or whatever if you need anything else for me for, before next week. So, But you. right now, I'm, I'm tentatively confirming for next week. If I have any problems, I'll let you guys know. No All worries. All right, cool. Thanks, Sweet. man. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Excellent. What else should we do, Jason? Um, Chat room, we didn't really, like... I talk to them as much as possible, but um, any other suggestions, guys? Yeah, we're no, open we're not, to this them. This is not available for download yet, Monty, because this is still the beta. Well, we're, uh, but Jason will put it on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. I've been posting all of these, by the way, on yeah. YouTube. So if you've missed any of them, you can go to the Twit. I think it's YouTube.com slash Twit, and it's there. Mm -hmm. um, Android uh, 1 beta. Yeah, Brainstorm point one beta and point two <laughs> beta. Um, so you can continue to find them there. I, I wish we could go through the whole, you know, thing of posting it as a, a, in mm -hmm. a feed and all that kind of stuff. But it's just too much work for something that's still very fluid and, exactly. and developing. Yeah. Think of it this way. We could be doing these behind the scenes and you know yeah. what I mean? Like working on these without any involvement and you'd still be waiting for the actual show to exactly. appear. Instead, yeah. we're, we're, we're bringing you into that pro part of the process. So we're sorry that we don't have a feed, but we will soon. Once the show is completely baked, we will. Uh, theme song. If anybody wants to make a theme song. I yeah, know. <laughs> I know. I wish I could write a theme song, but uh, my music making room at home is is right now the uh, bedroom of a one year old. So <laughs> it kind of, you know, when she goes to bed at problem. seven and usually I write music at night, like, yeah, it doesn't work so well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes, absolutely open to a theme song. I think Joshua Caleb actually had asked um, if, you know, if 
we would allow su- you know yes, suggestions or, or written we, songs or whatever. This I is, say, yes, go for it. I feel like we're driving this show to be really community oriented. Yeah. So go for it. Um, and it, again, we'll make a call out for um, segment names. I mean, the segments are news, hardware, help, and how to. I think we've Pretty I think much. we've figured out our apps, which is sort of the Android arena. Yeah. Um, Although the Android arena, I mean, well, that could. Could that extend to all the apps? Maybe. Maybe because it's like, I don't know. We'll yeah, it out. It see, might, see, we're it still might, brainstorming. Yeah, it might it. require yeah. A, re, uh, a retweaking of the VO. Mm-hmm. You know, the two two mm-hmm. Androids enter, one wins, yeah. although I like that. But I do. If it, but Android Arena as a general app segment with that animation to right. kind of like it kind of bring it home with it. Yeah. The end. Yeah. Cause the apps, the mentions of new apps and, and releases and stuff like that is kind of minor compared to obviously the 20 minutes we spend yeah. on Twitter <laughs> app uh, reviews and comparisons. Yeah, I told you you so. could talk a lot about apps. Oof. I was like, I guess so after a certain point I was like, are we, are we beating this dog? <laughs> beating this well, horse there's to death? so many features. And if you yeah. really want to give them, Absolutely. you know, the best recommendation. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Chat room. Did you think that the, the, uh, the Twitter app yeah. segment went too long? Did it feel okay? What, uh, what are your suggestions there? I would love to know. Can we get Cameron Diaz as a guest? Does yes. she use an Android? <laughs> yes, we can. We'll work on that. We'll get our booking agent to work on that. How do you know she's not an iPhone user? Felt good. Let me some tweet deck. Okay. Yeah, I knew I was going to get clobbered in there uh, with the it poll, was very natural, but I not just, too long. I figured I that uh, I would just throw in a new name. That's kind of, <laughs> maybe that'll be my thing. Oh, here's the app that no one uses. <laughs> right. <laughs> that'll be Eileen. <laughs> yeah, Twika is uh, a little further losing, behind. Losing. You never well, know. Well, tweet, you know, and then as soon as I found the, the, I mean, you guys know, you saw my reaction when I found out that you can actually do the quote retweet on the official Twitter app. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't have color coding. Mm-hmm. There's our uh, <laughs> our poll. I like this little, little quick and easy uh, poll, polling thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. All right, I guess we can uh, Yeah, we can start up. it. Yeah. So let's see here. So Coming up is Green Tech Today. That is right. Is it Dr. That's Kiki or Becky about. on this one? Uh, I'm going to guess Dr. Kiki. Okay. Um... Let's see here. Let me go ahead and load it up here. I know I dragged it onto the desktop. Lower third, please. It felt natural and not rushed. Oh, good. It's cool. Makes me look at other apps. Good, good, good. Awesome. Good. All right, y'all. Thank you, everybody. We're going to go ahead and switch over to Green Tech today so you can check that out, I believe, at 1 p.m. What comes up at 1? 1 1.30 is Home Theater Geeks. Home 1.30. Yeah. One, Green Tech today is only 15 minutes, which is why we're going to play it right now. Yeah. And then 1.30 Home Theater Geeks, 2.30 Tech News Today with a guy named Tom Merritt. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, uh, Leo, um, if he can be a part, he will. But he's, do you know how many shows Leo does? He does a lot. <laughs> I'm sure at some point we'll we'll sneak him in. Oh, I would love to sneak him in. You know? Are you kidding me? He's, he tells me about tons of apps all the time. But. And hopefully the Twig folks as well. Yes. It'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Here you go, you guys. Thanks again for uh, tuning in.